Federal prosecutors rested their case on Monday, arguing that Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof should get the death penalty. Roof is representing himself in his sentencing trial and hasn't made much of an argument to why the jury should spare his life. The convicted shooter didn't challenge any of the prosecutor's witnesses. He didn't offer his own witnesses or provide any new evidence to the jury. Roof was convicted of plotting and killing nine black worshipers in a Charleston, South Carolina church. AP reporter Meg Kinnard explains many of the victims' relatives attended Roof's trial. What also can't be ignored is the fact that many of the relatives of the people who died in Emanuel Church went to Dylan Roof's first court appearance and expressed forgiveness. They expressed mercy. They said they were praying for him um, and they were praying for his soul because being very God-fearing people, um, they believe that he will face the ultimate judgment, not on this earth, but in the next. Roof made his closing argument Tuesday. The same jurors who convicted Roof last month will now decide whether the white supremacist will get life in prison or the death penalty.